Hey everyone, so this is Unit 5, Module 2, Session 2 homework. Um, I want to try and do all of these. Um, let's see how we do. This first one, they want us to estimate. And this is sometimes hard for us because we want to find the exact answer. And um, let's see what we can do. I When I estimate, I look at just what 24 times 10 is. And that's 240, right? And that means that if I did it again, that would be 480. So it's going to be less than less than um, 20, my answer. Uh, it's going to be greater than 10. So I, I might even say and it's greater than 10, right? We know that. That's really bad handwriting. Um, so maybe 15. I'm going to say about 15. I'm not going to answer it. I'm just going to say about 15. Okay, another way I looked at uh, someone did, they changed it to, to like 25 cents or 25 like quarters, and they just <clears throat> put 25 together. Um, 25, four of them is 100, eight of them is 200, 12 of them is um, 300, and then you get about 50 cents. So they said about uh, 14. So 14 could be a good estimate too. Fill in the ratio table for 24 and use it to help solve the problem. Oh, there you go. So they said 24 times 1, or 24 and 1, 48 would be 2. Um, we already did this one. 10 would be uh, 240. Um, 5 would be 120. Oh, that's 120. And so I could actually put those in there. Um, well, we did 20 is uh, 480. We knew that, right? But look at this. Uh, 15 would be 360 exactly. That's kind of cool. That worked out for us. All right, let's keep going. Uh, Ali says that if you divide 360 by 12 instead of 24, the answer will be twice as large. Do you agree with her or not? 30, 360 divided by 12. Um, instead of 24, the answer would be... So we had an answer of 15, right? So we said 360 divided by 24 equals 15. So let's just try it. Um, we'll go 12 and 1, right? And then we want to get to 360. Um, 10 would be 120. Oh, I see something. 20 would be uh, 240. Do you see it yet? 30 would be 360 because I'm going up by 120s. And there's my answer. And yeah, for sure, 30 is double 15. So yes, I agree with her. And there's my work, right? Okay. Oh, this one's a quick assignment. All right. Holly and her brother Max got permission uh, to pick tangerines from the trees in their yard and sell them in their friends to their friends and neighbors. In all, they collected 360 tangerines. Holly thinks they should put the tangerines in bags of 24 and sell each bag for 150. Max thinks they should divide the tangerines equally among 24 bags um, and sell each bag for $1.50. Whose plan is better? This is kind of interesting, right? Does it make sense? So we want a bag. Let's just look at Holly first. Um, in bags of 24, so 24 in a bag. So Holly wants a bag of 24. Okay, so how many 24s go into 360? Well, we said that was, what did we say? Um, 24 was right here, 15. So we think that there is, if we did 360, Divided by 24, we got 15. But then we got to charge $1.50 per each one. So, right, we have to times 150. So, I see um, 1 times 15 is 15. And then 50 cents times 15 is 750. When I add those two up, I have 50 cents and 2250. So, that's Holly, right? So, Holly is 2250. Change the color. So Max, Max, what do you got, Max? 
Max wants 24 bags. And each of the bags is $1.50. So I don't even need to tell you how many are in a bag, right? Because we know there's going to be 24 bags. In fact, there's going to be 15 in a bag. So you're going to change the number a little bit. But he wants to sell for $1.52. So 24 times $1.50. Well, I have 24 times 1 is 24. Then 24 times 50 cents, well, that's just 12, right? And so that is $36. And this is max, right? So um, whose plan is better? Well, I think max is, right? Because max is going to make $36 compared to $22.50. So max is going to be a better deal. Okay, guys, I hope you tried some of these on your own. I did not stop you and tell you to try some. So hopefully you did. Uh, make sure you bring any questions for me. All right, take care, you guys.